make sure you click that big old red subscribe button and then go ahead and click that bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. Today we are going over the mid month budget update. Woohoo! halfway through the month, what has happened? We had to make a few adjustments to the budget between the time that I filmed um, the August budget and when the month actually started for a few things. First and foremost, we had a little bit more money come in than we thought, so we needed to put that towards the budget. So that was awesome, but almost on the same day, I found out I was... <laughs> Okay, so I had to kick Mauricio out because he was being obnoxious and I'm so obnoxious that I can't even put it in the video. It was ugly, but clearly he's not as sick as he's claiming to be. I found out that I actually have to go to Mexico this month and that's exciting because I haven't been back to Mexico since we left two years ago. And I'm excited to go back and have a whole list of things that I need to do. It will be out of my pocket and we are just starting the travel, Wendy Work Travel Sinking Fund. And so that's not even in place yet. So I think what we're going to do is I funded $500 to that trip for, you know, tax, easy, Uber, whatever, food, luggage costs, all the things that I would normally charge to my own account. When I get reimbursed from that, I'm actually gonna take that reimbursement and I'll go ahead and fund the work travel fund. So I doubt I will be vlogging to Mexico. I might record a few videos in Mexico, I might not. It, it, it's gonna be a pretty busy, somewhat short trip, so I don't know that I'll have a lot of time, but if I do, I'll take you with me. So I set aside, like I said, $500 for that. And I don't think I will need all that $500, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. And if we have extra, then I'll just put it towards debt. One of the other things that we added to the budget was uh, work clothes for Mauricio. Mauricio has to dress in business attire and Oddly enough, he only has like brown, like chino style pants. He has tons of suits, but people don't wear suits in his office. They wear like business casual. And so he has jeans and he has suits. He only had like three or four pairs of business like dress slacks. So we had to get him a couple of pairs. I think three pairs we got him three pairs of pants. And what was awesome about that is actually the day that we decided to do it, um, all the stores were having here in Virginia, it was tax free day. So you didn't pay any taxes on any of your purchases. And because it was tax free day, all of the stores were having like 40 to 60% off sales. So it worked out really well for us. And um, so we had fortunately planned on writing that into the budget. So that was that worked out super well. And we actually came in under budget with the amount we planned because we did not know they were gonna have so many sales. I have gotten the vast majority of Melina's first day of school stuff and her kindergarten stuff. Oh, let me show you, I need an opinion. Let me, let me show you. Hold on. This is Melina's first day of school outfit. I got this at the Nordstrom anniversary sale. It is just like this cute little twirly dress. She picked it out with some help from mommy. <laughs> mommy gave her a choice of like 10 dresses and she was able to pick this one out. So she loves it. And she's going to be wearing that with some monkey bar buddies underneath, which are so adorable and look so cute with it. Um, if you don't know what monkey bar buddies are, I will link those down below. Oh my goodness, they are like the most adorable. They're like gymnastic shorts, I guess. They're they're made for um, wearing under dresses. And yes, you can use regular bike shorts and that's what we've used all along. A friend of mine introduced me to these and I love them because they have these adorable little details on them and they are super stretchy, super stretchy and super comfortable and they don't ride up and they don't like give her marks like some of the bike shorts do. So, but she does use bike shorts, but she has a pair of silver ones, a pair of gold ones, and then these rainbow ones that we got her for the first day of school. So here I need a, an opinion. 
The other thing we got to wear with her dress is I kind of wanted to dress it down a little. So we went with white Converse or Chucks as I used to call them. Um, it's amazing to me that Chucks are still cool. Do they still call them Chucks? I don't know. Which one do you think looks best? I feel like the rainbow ones are a little too much, but I have a feeling they're gonna be the ones that Melina picks. My favorite are the silicone laces that don't involve any tying. We did go ahead and get her a pair in white to let her try them out because I didn't know if they were gonna stay like done all the time or they would pop open. So I wanted her to try them before so we put them in another pair of Converse and I'll let you know how those work out. I finally was able to get Melina nailed down on a backpack and a lunchbox. She's really big into rainbows. It's a rainbow sequins backpack, but when you rub it one way, it's one color, and when you rub it the other way, it's like rainbow colored. So super cute. I know she's going to love it. So I, I think we still have, I had set aside $250 for that. On the same day that we did buy Mauricio clothes, Old Navy was having a 50% off sale. And so I did get Melina three pairs of leggings for $3 a piece and a tank top. She had outgrown her gray tank top and she has this really cute gray and um, teal skirt that goes really well with a gray tank top. So I bought a tank top to replace that and one pair of jeans for her. So I spent $20 on her. So let's say we're up to not even $170, but um, I think... I think that's all we're really gonna need. I might need to buy her some more socks. But other than that, she is pretty good until winter time, I think. Um, I'll have to evaluate. It seems like she always gravitates towards short sleeve shirts and sweaters. So we have lots of sweaters. So we might not need to buy much for a while. We are putting um, over $5,000 to debt this month. So a little more than normal, which is fantastic considering I had to pull $500 from the August budget to cover the dental expenses in um, July. So the fact that we're putting more than normal is fantastic. And as you guys know, we set, I always set an earning minimum with Mauricio that when he was Ubering and Amazon flexing, he had to earn a certain amount of money every month. Um, so we wouldn't stress about the bills. And he easily earned that every month, but he did have to work a lot extra to do that. Our minimum base that we always agreed on was 4,750 and somehow it ended up working out to be 4,811 always. So we moved our base up to $4,811. Don't ask me why. That's just the way it worked out. I think because most of our bills are, are zeros at the end, but a few of them are not, so they end up being $11. For now, we have put $5,150.02 to debt, which is fantastic, and it looks like we still have money left to budget. We did put a huge cushion in and Mauricio has started his new job and really we haven't needed it, which is fantastic so far. I've had some work lunches out. They're unavoidable. I, I um, try and use my blow money for them, but frequently there is way more than one lunch. And then we also had Sonic the day we went to our storage unit. This video is coming out on Monday. The storage unit will be coming out on Wednesday. So you will see that we do stop at Sonic after going to the storage unit we kind of needed to console ourselves after some events at the storage unit that didn't go so well so you'll see those in a couple of days um we also put four hundred and fifty dollars into the budget for the dentist thus far um we paid 350 on dental work and Mauricio hasn't even really started his. It's going to be expensive, guys. But the dental insurance has kicked in and now we have dental. Yay. I'm going to be calling the dentist and giving them that plan number. We did go ahead and add the Sig King funds like we had planned. But I will tell you I'm kind of a little mm, upset. Well, upset's not really a good word, but I'm I'm kind of distraught, I guess is a better word, about the amount of money that's going to sinking funds instead of going to debt. And I realize that it's probably smarter this way. So at the same time, seeing $725 every month going to sinking funds instead of debt makes me question if we really need all our sinking funds. 
Some of them we absolutely do. And some of them they will cap out. And once they're capped out, then we will only refill them as we need to use money out of them. Like the car repair replace fund, we're going to cap that out at probably $3,000 unless we decide we need to replace a car. The work travel expenses will cap out at $500. And then as I get reimbursed, I will put money back in for that. So um, that'll only be a few months for the work expenses one, and then it should, it should be okay. And then I did put in $100 for our anniversary, our 10 year anniversary next year. And I'm not sure that I want to keep that. I, we're going to discuss it more. The last thing that came in was tire rotation and oil change on my vehicle. I hadn't done it in a while. And what ended up happening is we're not using my car at all right now. So we decided to go ahead and lend it to Mauricio's sister and her husband so they wouldn't have to buy a car, a second car right away. But before we lend it to them, we wanted to rotate the tires and change the oil. We were planning on doing it in September, but we decided to go ahead and do it now so it would be done. So that's all I've got for you. It wasn't a very exciting first half of the month. Make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe to my channel and I'll put up two videos for you to keep on watching. This video is my latest video, and this one is one YouTube picked out just for you. I'll see you in the next one. See ya!